Hey everybody, Nicola Adventure 406, and today I am going to be rebuilding the power steering pump on my E30. This thing's leaking power steering fluid all over the place, so I bought a kit from BMW. It comes with all of the seals. There's no hard parts in it because these pumps are pretty hard to kill unless you run them dry. Um, so with that being said, let's get into this. Alright, first things first, I let this whole assembly sit in a gallon of carb cleaner for a couple of days to break down all the goop and gunk on it. I'm going to disassemble it and then stick the individual parts that are still goopy and gunky back in there. That way we can start with a nice, fresh, clean assembly. This little bitty C-clip holds the shaft of the pump in and it can be kind of tricky to get out of there. If you think it's tricky now though, wait till it's time to put it back in. Once everything is nice and sparkly, the assembly is the opposite of the disassembly. You can see my son here to remind me, Dad, replace all the seals before you put it all back together. Thank you, son. That's a great idea. Make sure to gently tap that radial seal in. Once your camera falls down, that's how you know it's done. Hey, don't forget to lubricate these moving parts as you're reinstalling everything. I just put a little bit of Dex 3 in that little red cap there, and I generously apply it to all of the moving parts as I am putting this thing back together to prevent seizure in your startup. That bitty little C-clamp just felt a little loosey-goosey after I slipped it over the shaft there, so I just went ahead and gave it a pinch with my uh, needle nose pliers to kind of cinch it down a little bit. It doesn't need to be super tight, it just needs to uh, prevent this shaft from slipping out. Okay, here's the part that can be kind of tricky. All right, your, your backing plate there has two different seals, a rubber seal and then kind of a plasticky seal. The rubber seal goes on first, and then there's a small channel inside the rubber seal, and that's where the plastic one goes. Kind of late in the game, but if you haven't done this before, you should definitely take pictures of the pump so you remember how it goes back together because there are several wrong ways and only one right way. So hopefully you took pictures before you took it off if this is your first time. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time later on. 
right now at this point. The torque spec for this is guten tight. Seriously though, it doesn't have to be too tough. It's an aluminum body and uh, steel screw, so if you go too hard on it, it'll pull the threads right out of that aluminum pump body. Okay, there you have it. Piece of cake, right? <laughs> Pretty simple process. As long as you have the right parts the first time, this should be a 30 minute to one hour task. Thank you everybody for watching and I will see you next time on Adventure 406.